When you're not dangerous, you're not really safe. You're just weak. But when you're when you have power and force and strength, and then you choose to use that power and force and strength to be meek and kind and compassionate, to me, that's what it means to be masculine. Today, I'm talking about toxic masculinity with Erwin McManus, the pastor of the church, The Mosaic. And he's talking about how we actually need to embrace masculinity and how those people who talk about toxic masculinity might actually be wrong. And what women are actually looking for is strong men. It's really, really interesting. The concept of a strong woman wants a strong man and a strong masculine man should want a strong woman woman. This one's really, really interesting with Erwin McManus. Today's video was sponsored by Huel, a quick, affordable, nutritionally complete source of food that has everything that your body needs. I've been using these guys for the past two years. Use code JordanMulligan10 with the link in the description to get a discount at checkout. I'll talk about them a little bit more later on in the video. But before that, toxic masculinity. How can we embrace masculinity and why are people so wrong on it? Let's dive into it. The talking point that uh, Kim said was something I really wanted to talk about. And I, I'm only saying it because I, I know I can get carried away with conversations. And it was, she says, why do you focus on, she said, ask him this. Said, <laughs> why does he focus on masculinity? Why is it so important? My wife asked that question. Yes, she, she asked that, yeah. That's interesting. And I, I, I love the, the, <laughs> the, the dichotomy of this mm -hmm. uh, because when we talk about a lot of the messages you put out there is about love and yeah you know I, I, and some people just don't think these these words mix so i want it i would love to hear it i actually do focus on masculinity and and i focus deeply on love i think the most masculine men have the courage to love and i think men who are insecure who are hollow in their masculinity want to be worshiped but men who are rich and mature in their manhood know the power of loving. It's different than wanting to be loved. It's actually having the courage to love. But I also feel that um, masculinity has lost its appeal. And so you end up in this dichotomy of, of you know, they talk about toxic masculinity, but then the other spectrum seems to be feminine masculinity. And there seems to be no healthy masculinity. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm like, um, no, actually, I think that it's a good thing when men discover their strength and their courage, their nobility, their integrity. And I think it's a misread when people think women do not want men who are truly masculine. You don't need to become lass to have a healthy relationship with a woman. Powerful women want to have powerful men. They need powerful men. Just, And you don't need a wife who's powerless to be masculine. I think men who are afraid of their masculinity, who are uncertain of their masculinity, want weak women. Kim is powerful in her own right. I do not tell Kim what to do. I'm afraid to tell Kim what to do. And she wouldn't do what I told her to do. And I married someone like that because she has her own mind. She has opinions, she has perspective. Uh, we, we fight. And I, I just would never want someone who was compliant. I mean, I, I want someone who's kind. And I want someone who respects me as a, as a human being in the same way I would respect her. But I want someone who has their own energy and their own force of nature. And that to me is more exciting. But um, but yeah, I write books that tries to awaken the heroic inside of men. And I write, I do write books that tries to convince men that the most courageous thing in the world is to love. That being kind is the most powerful force for a man.
I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Today's video was sponsored by Huel, a quick, affordable, nutritionally complete source of food that has everything that your body needs. I have been using these guys to make these productions, these documentaries to travel around the world and stay fueled with all the nutrition that my body needs and also the, all the protein that my body needs too. So to know I can reach in my bag and grab one of these bottles, it has all the calories, the nutrients, the vitamins, all that kind of stuff in a bottle has been an absolute game changer. So if you want to get a discount, use code Jordan Mulligan 10 at checkout for a discount and also follow the link in the description to see more of their products. Thank you Huel for sponsoring the video. Let's dive back into it. Look, you can't be humble if you're insecure. I, I value humility as one of the highest virtues. You cannot be humble if you do not know your power. If you do not know your power, you're not humble, you're just afraid. You're not humble, you're just compliant. The only person that can be truly humble is the person that knows their strength and knows their power and chooses it to serve, chooses to empower, not overpower. And I, I and we've talked about this for years, I, I believe kindness is one of the highest values that I know that I have in my life. And you, when you have strength and you're kind, that's where it perplexes the world. You know, I, um, yeah, I, uh, one day I, I, I was, I think, walking Bogota. I had my hoodie up, had my long, I had a pretty long beard thick at that time. And I said, Aaron, because I always, I always call Aaron in the middle of the night when I'm walking the streets Usually the it's like, I'm lost. I don't know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> Ping me. For where I'm, I'm like, I'm in LA. I don't know where you no, are either. No. I said, Aaron, I just had this epiphany. I think I know why I've never been mugged. <laughs> when I walk the most dangerous streets in the world. And he goes, why, Dad? And I said, because I look like the mugger. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I have stared at people uh, who were bearing weapons and arms who have cut people's throats with their switchblades. And I've said face to face, toe to toe. And I am, uh, I've never in my mind doubted that I was a dangerous person. And I, and I am also the safest person. You have power and force and strength. And then you choose to use that power and force and strength to be meek and kind and compassionate, to me, that's what it means to be masculine. Uh, it means so much more as well. And you look, it's so true, it's so powerful. We uh, interviewed, it might've been some of those clips you'd seen, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Master Sha Hong Yi, and he talks about this concept of the um, demon hand and Buddha heart. Do you, have you heard mm. of that concept before? No. So it's the, the Buddha heart is kindness and mm -hmm. it's, it, you, need, you need these two things and in combination on their own, they're, they're no good. B Buddha heart and Buddha heart is kindness, but it's not going to reach other people. You can't, you don't have the force to be able to give it to other people. Mm. Demon hand and demon hand is just, it's not going to help anybody. But together, to be able to have that that force to be able to attack and to be able to deliver it, the, the demon hand, but to deliver the good of the Buddha heart. And it's this, it's this balance that, that people need to have. That, that, that's his, his way of explaining it. But, and I, I agree with it like completely. Like the the kindness with strength and power is completely different. And it's funny, I, I see a few of the people that you've had on stage, mm -hmm. and I, I can I can see the people that you you've picked to to speak have that. Uh, but Lewis is one of those guys, you mm -hmm. know. And it, it is it means so much more when they they could take over the world without being kind if they really wanted to but because they do it in <laughs> kindness it's a completely different thing it means so much more thank you so much to Owen for doing this video with us and sitting down I'm, I'm really excited to go back out to LA and speak to Owen because I think he's one of the most incredible speakers that I have spoken to and his knowledge his wisdom his philosophies I really stand by I think they're fantastic and yeah it's all based out of teachings and learnings he's got from the church as well which is super interesting to me as I don't follow any particular religion but I feel like he speaks a lot of sense so I, yeah I'm really excited to go speak to him again toxic masculinity 
um, has become a bit of a trend to sort of rip the masculinity down. And personally, I have five brothers and I really do feel, feel that you should embrace masculinity. It's uh, what makes men men. And I don't want to get cancelled or anything like that. This is a, one of those subjects that's really touchy. But the way in which Irwin talks about it, I think is fantastic. It's not about being a masculine man and looking for weak women or weak people around you to sort of overburden them with that masculinity. That's not, it's about embracing it and using that for kindness and good. And I guess, yeah, like demon hand, Buddha heart kind of vibe, it kind of works in the same kind of philosophy. So I really, really do support a lot of what was spoken about in this video. Today's video was sponsored by Hughes. So if you want to find out more, head to the link in the description. Use code Jordan Mulligan 10 at checkout. And everybody who supported us at mulliganbrothers.com with the Inspire Change t-shirts, the Not A Journals, the posters, it is still on sale. Use code 2024 at checkout to find out more. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed and productive day. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. What you fear establishes the boundaries of your freedom. I would walk into projects with armed guards with Uzi machine guns in every entry, cocaine stacked to ceilings. And I would walk in and make contact with the owners of drug cartels and begin to talk to them about life and God. So I decided to flip the script for myself and I decided to use fear to my advantage. Whatever I was afraid of, I moved toward. When I was making $6,000 a year, I actually considered myself a success.